For more great content, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. This is this is kind of working right into what Atlanta Rain would like them to do. What a charge! What a piece of fight! The shadow to follow up is going to be Pelican and Hawk knocked to the ground. Flatter fight with Paul's bomb, and they're so close. A minute 15 left, and the Atlanta Rain have nothing left to work with. The Dragons teach us that if we want to climb high, we must do it against the wind. The Shanghai Dragons are your 2021 Overwatch League champions. In a few years have we had the Overwatch League. Now they go from absolute worst franchise at the start. No questions asked, right? All in 40. They are able to rebuild and build back the strongest. You know, they are they are phenomenal last year. They're champions this year. It's a huge accomplishment for the players in the York. The Shanghai Dragons ended their 2021 season as the dominant force in the Overwatch League. They figured out a style that worked for them, and they perfected it, basically. There was no countering it for most teams in the league. But only a few seasons prior, they were the worst team major esports had ever witnessed. Now, we were all joking. It's like, oh, LOL, what if they what if they don't win a match all season? Everyone's like, oh, haha, that's impossible. Wouldn't that be something? And then it actually happened. So I, we weren't expecting a lot from that team coming into it, but uh, they exceeded our low expectations, I think is a good way to say that. It was not a good year for them, yeah. They ended the inaugural OWL season with 40 straight losses next to their name, and not a single victory. Yes, that's 40 straight losses. But the Shanghai Dragons bounced back, refusing to be defined by their winless opening campaign. Season upon season, the Dragons made huge leaps in playstyle, transforming from Overwatch's weakest team to its strongest. So how did they make such a miraculous turnaround? Let's find out. This is the fall and rise of the Shanghai Dragons. When the Overwatch League entered the scene in 2018, Overwatch was no longer a predominantly regionalized esport. The league ushered in bigger prize pools, brought together the greatest players from around the globe, and became the new proving ground, no matter where you were from. Not only would the OWL reveal who would rise to the top, but who wasn't cut out for the most competitive environment the game had ever seen. And the Shanghai Dragons, the first Overwatch League franchise to be officially announced, were slotted straight into the second category. When the Dragons announced their Season 1 roster, the lineup raised some eyebrows. The roster was very confusing. It, it really didn't seem to represent the best that China had to offer at the time. So uh, I think people are kind of just confused about the initial roster, honestly. There was this one team at the time called Miraculous Youngster, universally considered to be the best Chinese team. They like stomped their region. They played it close against some of the top Korean teams as well at the time. People anticipated that those players would be making up the bulk of the Shanghai Dragons roster because they were the only Chinese team. But none of those players actually made it onto the initial roster, which, you know, speculation, but it was speculated that it was because of like nepotism and um, internal org corruption that those specific players made it onto the initial roster. The team relocated to North America, ready to make their dreams come true and prove Chinese Overwatch was capable of mixing it up with some of the world's strongest regions. But the Dragon's actual performances were a far cry from their aspirations. And the Gladiators are looking real good now. It's so far to walk back for the Dragons. They probably don't have anyone remotely close enough. It's MG to try and keep this one stalled out a little bit longer. But again, he's dispatched very, very quickly. Time's up, Dragons. That's the series. A big bit of four Overwatch for you as the Gladiators look real good doing it. <laughs> but yeah, a brutal end to the season here for Shanghai. They've made so much progress. They're so exciting to watch now. It always feels like it's, it's just there, but they will not get a win in the first stage. That elusive first win was evading them. And although the Dragons showed signs of slight improvement, they often didn't even put up a fight in their defeats. Roshan down, fighting in Freefield. Look on with dismay as they are dismantled. London, they didn't even need the transcendence. They just pop it there at the end. Celebration. Just weeks into the season, it was clear that roster simply wasn't strong enough. 
so the franchise recruited some of the game's top talent not yet in the Overwatch League. People expected them to at least get one win. You know, Fearless is a very good main tank. And um, the other players that you mentioned, they are all very individually impressive. But yeah, it just it just didn't click, I think. But instead of injecting energy into the team and kickstarting their season, the new players fared no better than their predecessors. The defeats piled up, and with their 29th consecutive loss, the Shanghai Dragons officially claimed the longest losing streak in the history of major esports and in major North American sports, period. They became a meme, the laughing stock of the league, a free win for their opponents. At the beginning of the season, most people were just sort of taking the Dragons like not too seriously because they were like, okay, this is just a win. We can focus on other games. But by stage four, everyone was prepping for the Dragons harder than they prepped for other opponents because nobody wanted to be the first team to lose to them. The Shanghai Dragons' first season concluded without them winning a single series, and their record stood at 0 and 40. I remember early on, like in the first stage of the first season of Overwatch League, like we were all joking. It's like, oh, LOL, what if they what if they don't win a match all season? Everyone's like, oh, haha, that's impossible. Wouldn't that be something? And then it actually happened. So we weren't expecting a lot from that team coming into it, but uh, they exceeded our low expectations, I think. It's a good way to say that. It was not a good year for them, yeah. If a roster construction is just bad from the jump, and then you try to throw different parts in there to try to spruce it up, but it doesn't really work because you're just kind of throwing stuff at the wall to see what sticks. It's mainly on the organization uh, for that first season. Uh, it's most people's perspective. The Shanghai Dragons were a mile adrift from the pack, winning only half the number of maps that the 19th place team did. With no relegation, they faced the same daunting prospect of repeating this misery all over again in Season 2. Changes had to be made during the offseason, and the team, to their credit, did just that reshuffling almost the entire lineup and coaching staff. And with that, the Dragons soon found their feet and began their ascension from the lowest of the lows to the highest of highs. The rise of the Shanghai Dragons. Coming into their second season, the Shanghai Dragons scoured Korea's Contender Series, a region and tournament that had already produced some of the emerging stars of the OWL. The team's new lineup looked far more competitive, and although there was concern after dropping the first two series of the season, the franchise eventually earned the moment they'd waited over a year to see. Princess is out from aim god, but it's going to expire. They will be able to finish him up. There you go. They're going to get it. Just a couple more percent and go. Let them have it, Boston. Hexium, bump of the Bramble Ridge, but it does not matter. Ladies and gentlemen, history has been made. The Shanghai Dragons. Because Shanghai Dragons had been so bad in 2018, they had developed this fan base that just, they just wanted to root for the underdog. So finally getting a win, you know, feels like winning the Super Bowl, right? Or like winning the entire league. The moment where they win, I think everyone remembers that. It was so definitely loud in the arena that the casters who stand like pretty far back from the crowd had to yell to be heard because everyone's screams and cheers were coming through their microphones. And just like that, the Shanghai Dragons left their winless season in the rearview mirror. The franchise had their first victory. They made playoffs in Stage 2, and in Stage 3, Shanghai stunned the Overwatch League. 
There's the EMP over the top. Mirage boosted straight in one kill. Looking for two. Gonna find a third as well. Chanu, he's got no answer. Oh, no, well, he does. It's the self-destruct over the top, but they flip the point in the meantime. And the fadeaway rocket. Get out of here. Saying hi, dragons. DM is not in this anymore, but so is soon. What's he getting out of this visor? He needs a target. He's hunting for it, and it's not gonna happen. The Shanghai Dragon Tex, just like that. We're looking at the fight. There's action everywhere, but the entire time they were winning the point. The Shanghai Dragons will go to the stage three finals, and Bunker doesn't look like he believes it. I don't believe it. What was that? You were still in the fight, and it wasn't even over. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. We're coming to you live at Sunny. Here at the Blizzard Arena, and we have one heck of a match here for you today. The Stage 3 Finals, Shanghai Dragons, our 8th seed team, making it in, going up against the San Francisco Shock, looking to see if they can take it all home. And San Francisco Shock will take us to one final map, Map 7, coming up. It looking for the reverse sweep. It looked to Kilios like it might have been one of our most one-sided Stage Finals in Overwatch League history. The cart starting to advance a wrecking ball on the way, but I don't think he's gonna arrive in time. He looked, and he will not! Reverse sweep! Not gonna happen! The Shanghai Dragons, for the first time, will be your stage three champions! It took a long time, it took three stages for the Shanghai Dragons are the best team in the world today. Their run was really a lot of fun to watch because at the time, Everyone was still playing this like triple triple composition that had been going on through the entire season. So three tanks, three supports. But the Shanghai Dragons came up with this weird theory crafted triple DPS comp that nobody else was playing and only they could pull off basically. Compared to going 0 and 40, Shanghai's second season was a monumental success. Sure, they didn't win the grand finals. They didn't make it to the end of season playoffs or finish top half of the table, but they were on the right track. And that brief moment of glory was a glimpse into what the future would have in store. As is the constant in the Shanghai Dragons journey, the offseason saw many new faces join the team. The offseason between 2019 and 2020, a lot of the contracts that players were on were two-year contracts, so a lot of rosters were shuffling around then. And the Dragons, uh, I guess the organization was not satisfied with what they had been doing so far, plus a bunch of players were leaving anyway. So they basically scrapped most of the roster. They kept a couple on as substitutes, but then they brought on like just a powerhouse roster. And that translated into even more success on the server. Finds Medosa on the tail end of it as well. Turning into a blizzard from Prophet to try and stay them away from the point. Gesture goes for a nice little lurf shatter. We'll connect it onto one, but I'm afraid that is going to be it. Going out with slightly a whimper. The Shanghai Dragons are going to be winning map number three. GG's are called in the chat all around. That, that was barely a game. Yeah. That was an utter stomping. There is a bigger difference right now between Shanghai and Seoul than between Seoul and the teams that they were dominating. Not only did the Dragons race to first place, they picked up mid-season glory along the way. The blade, or oh, not the blade, I should say the beam, it burns them down, it burns them down indeed, Josh. The overtime, is it not enough? It is not enough whatsoever. The Shanghai Dragons have done it. I cannot believe what we have witnessed. The reverse sweep. They are the champions of the Asia May Melee. The Shanghai Dragons are going to be walking away with, I believe, 40 grand, three wins under their belts. I look at this team as, as the best team in the world. Heading into the playoffs, the team that had been the laughing stock of the OWL just two years prior were strong contenders to take home Overwatch's grandest prize. So when they swept the Philadelphia Fusion, the top seeded North American side, Shanghai looked unstoppable. But their season would ultimately end in disappointment. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Overwatch League and welcome to the lower bracket finals here at our grand finals presented by IBM. For two teams, this is going to be all coming down to this. The lower bracket finals are going to be deciding the winner and the winner obviously going forwards into the grand finals. They might just be about to do it. Are they really going to upset the Shanghai Dragons here and now? And the Seoul Dynasty just seconds away, they've done it! They will be moving forward into the Grand Finals presented by IBM and the Shanghai Dragons are going home.
I think uh, Shanghai was good, but I think unfortunately in that particular case, they just ran into a Seoul dynasty that just found this like playoff magic and was, was nearly unstoppable, you know? The 11th place team Seoul dynasty, a team the Dragons had beaten five series in a row, knocked them out. Shanghai had experienced massive growth that season, but missing out on the grand finals in the way they did was a bitter way to end the year. They didn't do poorly. They did come like third overall, but it's still falling short of where people expected them to be, which is in grand finals. During the 2020 and 2021 seasons, the Dragons lineup mostly remained the same. They clearly had the talent to go all the way. Now, they just had to execute it. And execute, they did. Only a couple of players left standing and it's not enough. The Shanghai Dragons have done it. An absurd series of events. They've come back and look at the sheer joy on their faces. They can hardly believe what they've achieved. They are going to be your Jun Jiao's champions. Forces Void away and his mind's on the point here. That lets the Hunters get back in control to a degree. Fate goes over the edge. Flat is hacked. Oh, oh no! no! Not like this, Chuck Du, no! Back-to-back tournament wins here for the Shanghai Dragons, really cementing their spot at the top of the Overwatch League. Uh, that's the EMP coming out there. It feels as if it is caught off as well. That's all the Dragons, all the time right now. And they are headed on a collision course with the finals. An impressive way for Shanghai to enter the Grand Finals. It now falls to us to crown our 2021 Overwatch League champion. These two teams, namesakes as mythical as their path through this grueling season, now face one more time to find out who will be taking the trophy. It'll be the Atlanta Reign and the Shanghai Dragons. What a charge, what a pick from fight. The shadow, the follow up is gonna be Pelican and Hawk knocked to the ground. Flatter finds the pulse bomb and they're so close. A minute 15 left and the Atlanta Reign have nothing left to work with. The Dragons teach us that if we wanna climb high, we must do it against the wind. The Shanghai Dragons are your 2021 Overwatch League champions. They never really let control of being the best team in the Overwatch League. They're just so oppressive. They're so fast. They're so aggressive. Even when you're in spawn, they're still going to chase you. They're still going to keep using ultimates. And that is why it's so hard to play against them. They go from the absolute worst franchise at the start. They are able to rebuild and build back the strongest. You know, they are, they are phenomenal last year. They're champions this year. It's a huge accomplishment for the players of the Order. The Shanghai Dragons are without doubt OWL's greatest Cinderella story. Honestly, as a whole, the the Shanghai Dragons organizational story is is one of the best like comeback stories in in esports history. Where it, you know, on an organizational level, to go from 0 and 40 your first season to 4 0 in the grand finals, you know, this year, that's 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 pretty magical. And in their four year history, they endured the worst of the worst. Once a team that survived an entire season without a single victory, they rose to claim the title of Overwatch League champions. And with Overwatch 2 on the horizon and a comeback story for the ages under their belts, the Shanghai Dragons have everything in place to go forward and build a dynasty.